This is the JRE Show, and this is LTL Acorns 5210A trail camera. Go ahead and take a look what comes in the box. We have the 5210A itself. We have a USB cable. We have a strap to attach it to a tree or a pole or just something. And then we have a TV cord so we can hook this directly up to a TV and monitor it that way. Now the 5210A actually does run off batteries. It runs off of four AA batteries or it has this battery pack on the back and you can hook up actually eight AA batteries and that will give you a total standby time of up to six months. So that's crazy, um, crazy long time. And with the just the front pack, I'll take this off here. With just the front pack, you can get up to three months standby time. So we got this little screw that comes in here these little straps and pop these off and then this is the battery pack kind of looks like a little backpack it's kind of cool but anyway you would put the four batteries into here you can see the connecting pins there and that's where the four double a batteries would go for the pack so and that would just sit on to the camera itself and give you that additional time so here's the camera itself this does both video and pictures uh, let's go over some of these specs we have three different picture sizes we have three megapixels five megapixels and 12 megapixels uh, for video modes we have 640 by 480 or 320 by 240 and that's at 20 frames per second we can record video intervals up to 60 seconds which is really nice so if you want to go 60 seconds and if it's all motion again, start recording again. Um, but here we have the infrared lights here up on the top. And we have some other LEDs in there. Those are indicators that when it is in the test mode. Then we have the camera here itself. We have the sensors, the motion sensors here. It's very nice. You can see this is a camo. So you hang this up, you know, on a tree for some low-key... Uh, filming I guess you'd say. This does have a waterproof rating of an IP54 which is similar to a IPX3 which will basically it will be okay in rain um, you know the, it's been tested in different positions and it says that with this uh, rain is going to be okay which is necessary because if you're going to have this outside rain is going to um, probably destroy it but luckily it was raining last night so I left this out all last night Capture some footage and tested it and it's still working. So we'll flip it over here on the back. Well, first let's look in the bottom. The bottom's really cool. It's got this little latch here. It just pops up, open like that. And here's where you'll find the SD card. The SD card isn't included, so you'll need to pick one up. It does take up to a 32 gigabyte card. No issues there. And next to that we have the USB port. And then we have the TV out. If you want to, like I said, hook that up with the cord. And then we have a 6-volt power supply there, which uh, wasn't included either. But most likely, I'm going to be running this off batteries most of the time. Now, that's really cool. The battery compartment here, it just has a really nice snap to it and just, boom, pops open like that. And then this is where your, I'm using rechargeables, would go. And they're labeled here, so you know which way. They have to go in. Now I've had this camera set up for about a week in different areas, moving it around. And I've captured some footage, which I'll show you here at the end. But first I'm just going to go ahead and show you uh, what it's like when you turn this on. Here you'll see the on-off switch. We have it on-off right now. We can slide it to on and then test. Test is where you want to be doing the setup of this. When you switch it to on, basically you switch it to on. It's going to make some colors right here for about 10, 15 seconds, and then you're on, you're recording, and you're not going to see any life from the camera whatsoever. So go ahead, flip it over to test. You can see now, let me put that behind there. You can see, I can see what it's recording at. So if you wanted to set this and check it to make sure that this is in place uh, and capturing what you need, then, you know, that's nice that you can capture it right here. So we have these buttons right here. We have the menu, replay, the shot, video, and picture. I can take a video or I can take a picture. 
Um, but let's go through the menu real quick. We have the mode, we have camera, or we can switch it to video format. We can format the whole SD card right here from the camera, which is awesome. We have the photo size. Whoops, the photo size. We can go up to 12, 5. Oh, I thought this had 3. I guess it only has 12 and 5. Sorry about that. Down to the video size, 640 by 480, 320 by 240. And we have the clock, which I haven't set up yet. But something really nice about this is that when you go back to view this, not only does it have the timestamp, but it also has the serial number of the camera and also the temperature and the uh, moon phase. So if you have a few of these and you have the SD cards, you're looking at the footage later, you have that right on the, on the uh, video, which is really nice. So going through, we have the video length. We can go ahead and adjust this up to 60 seconds, like I said. Or we can just do it for one second. But if you're going to do it for one second, you might as well just take a picture. So I kind of like to have it around maybe 30 seconds. And then we have the interval. It will be intervals of one minute. Or we can also change that. And moving down, we have the sensitivity level. We have normal, medium, and high. Or normal, low, and high. The timestamp on. Timer 1. This is so we can set these if you want to go off at a certain time. And password, you set a password on this, so in order to view the footage on here, you'll have to enter a password or to do anything, to change the settings or anything like that. Serial number, time lapse, you can do a time lapse with this, which is great if you wanted to maybe, who knows, do a sunset going down or possibly just, you know, multiple pictures where you think this won't quite pick something up for some reason and you just want to do a time lapse. Who knows, time lapses are already always cool. And default set. So that's all the settings there. Now we can actually view the previous, oops, like here. I caught a squirrel. I put a bag of bread in the backyard and caught this squirrel. And I can actually go back and view it. It just kind of brushes up against the camera here. That's real cool. So I can actually go back. I don't even have to take this camera, you know, back into, um, you know, the house or to a computer because I can view all the footage right here with the time. And let's go up here. Here's one. An animal there. Let's go down here a little further. Okay. I know there's one more in here where there it is. You can see the switch is automatic between day and night. It will go right to infrared if it can't do color. But the picture quality on this is really, really good. I mean, if you had to make out someone's face or a type of animal, it's pretty simple to do. It is very, I mean, it records really nicely. So that's that. I mean, we basically have it set right now. You saw some of the videos there. I'll show you how to set this because it's very easy. You just flip open the bottom here and you flip it over to on like that and now you'll see this blink for about like i said 10 to 12 seconds and then it's going to turn off and then it's going to be recording anytime it senses motion so you can see now it's turned off and you're like huh is it dead no it's not actually dead it's just doing its job so real quick before we wrap this up also on the bottom we do have a tripod mount if you wanted to mount this to a tripod that may come in handy and also right here we have the charging port if you were to hook this into um, a wall outlet you would have to buy that cord but that's where you would plug that in there so that is ltl acorns 5210a trail camera i would definitely recommend this guy uh, it just has so many different uses and it's so easy to use you just set this thing down and you can go and come back and check your footage later that's that thanks for watching